just how fast, strong, and powerful is Alita Battle Angel. Hello, I'm Gary Villeneuve, competitive powerlifter and first degree black belt in Kenpo Karate. I will be your host as we explore Alita Battle Angel to study her speed, strength, and power. In this video, we'll be analyzing Alita's capabilities as depicted in the movie. She was in the United Republics of Mars, or ERM, military special operation. But before we study Alita's speed, strength, and power, let's briefly review her history. According to the manga, Alita was born on Mars in Cydonia in 2326. The movie places her birth around 2245, but we won't worry about the difference between the manga and the movie. She was named Yoko by her parents and was taken by the Urm military after the Great War, the fall, between Earth and its Martian colonies killed her parents. Yoko became a cyborg when she was three years old. Her brain was later transferred into a titanium cyborg body for training by the Urm military. When she was 17 years old, her brain was transplanted into a Class I berserker body. She was now considered a high-value military asset and had probably attained the Panzerkunst rank of warrior. After fighting in a pivotal battle against the Earth Defense Forces on the moon, the Urm military launched an all-out attack on Earth. Yoko's unit, led by her sensei Gelda, was wiped out as they attacked Zala. Yoko was captured, tortured, and executed. Her captors, believing she was dead, discarded her core in the scrapyard, a huge garbage dump under Zalem in the middle of Iron City. Yoko laid there in hibernation for hundreds of years, until she was discovered by Dr. Dyson Ito in 2563. Dr. Ito connected her core to a cyborg body he built for his daughter, revived her, and renamed her Alita. And the rest of the story, as they would say, is future history. Now that we know something about Alita's history, let's analyze Alita's speed, strength, and power. First, Let's evaluate Alita's speed. In the movie, Alita confronts several centurions, large robotic enforcers, each armed with two Gatling guns. Alita demonstrates her speed with two actions. The first action, she deflects a bullet fired by one of the centurions. According to a military weapons website, the 50 caliber GAL 19A has a muzzle velocity of 2,910 feet per second. Assuming the Centurion was about 30 feet from Alita, this means she would have to react in 1 one hundredth of a second or 10 milliseconds to deflect the bullet. According to several sources, the average human reaction time is 0.215 seconds or 215 milliseconds. This means Alita's reaction time is more than 20 times faster than the average human. In the second action against the Centurion, Alita moves fast enough to avoid bullets being fired at her by at least 12 Centurions. Alita takes out all of the Centurions with her Damascus sword in 15 seconds. In addition, jumping to a height of about 30 feet to take out the last Centurion required about five seconds. This means she took out the first 11 centurions in 10 seconds. Assuming the factory corridor is 150 feet long and 50 feet wide, she probably had to cover about 75 feet, swing her sword, then proceed to the next centurion. For these first 11 centurions, this means she had to cover about 825 feet in four and a half seconds, assuming it took her about one half second to swing her sword at each centurion. This is about 183 feet per second, or 125 miles per hour. The 2016 Olympic gold medal winner, Usain Bolt, was clocked at 27.8 miles per hour. Assuming these calculations are correct, Alita is about four and a half times faster than the fastest human. 
she's not as fast as the DCEU's Flash or the MCU's Quicksilver, each of whom can run at relativistic speeds, but her speed is truly superhuman. Putting her speed in perspective, a cheetah can run at 50 to 80 miles per hour. So Alita is more than 50% faster than a cheetah, the fastest animal on Earth. Next, we'll analyze Alita's physical strength. Here we see Alita dragging a Centurion Gatlin gun in the movie. According to the military weapons website we referenced earlier, the 50 caliber Gal 19A Gatling gun weighs 139 pounds. From the photo, the Gatling gun Alita is dragging appears Violation. to be Violation. much larger Violation. than the Gal 19A. Judging from Alita's height in the shot, the Centurion Gatling gun barrels are estimated to be about one inch in diameter. The housing at the rear of the Centurion Gatling gun is estimated to be about nine inches in diameter and about 20 inches in length, a volume of 693 cubic inches, as opposed to the GAL 19A Gatling gun housing, which is about three inches in diameter and six inches in length, a volume of 71 cubic inches. This suggests that the Centurion Gatlin gun is substantially heavier than the GAL 19A. Since neither Gatling gun's housing is solid metal, the Centurion Gatlin gun probably weighs four to five times heavier. Based on these calculated differences, the Centurion Gatlin gun may weigh between 550 and 700 pounds. For the purpose of our evaluation of Alita's strength, we will conservatively estimate the Centurion Gatlin gun to weigh 600 pounds. Here we see Alita holding a Centurion Gatlin gun with one hand just before she fires it. This is a true measure of her strength. For example, the world record for curling weight among humans at the time of this video is 136 pounds. There is also an unofficial account of another person curling 256 pounds for 10 repetitions, which suggests a one repetition maximum of 340 pounds. Before we compare Alita's strength with humans, we must keep in mind she continued holding the Gatling gun while she was firing it for two seconds. Being able to control a weapon delivering four times the kinetic energy of the GAL 19A requires great strength. This suggests Alita may be able to curl 600 pounds up to 10 repetitions and maybe more. Alita could probably curl at least 800 pounds for one repetition. This is almost six times more than the official world record and more than double the unofficial account. According to a bodybuilding website, a general rule of thumb is a person on average can bench press about four times the weight that they can curl. If that is true, Alita can bench press over 3,200 pounds. The current bench press record for humans is 740 pounds. Based on these assumptions and calculations, our battle angel is gifted with superhuman strength. Now let's analyze Alita's physical power, which comes mostly from her antimatter microreactor heart that would power Iron City for years. In this segment, Alita delivers a front kick that sends Zapan across the room. The distance Zapan travels appears to be about 25 feet. If Zapan weighs 200 pounds, then the amount of energy required to move him 25 feet is 5,000 foot pounds. This is equivalent to a person with arms 20 inches in length, bench pressing 3,000 pounds. Now let's consider Alita propelling the Damascus sword towards Zapan. Based on the number of video frames in that sequence, the amount of time the sword traveled was about a quarter of a second, which is a speed of about 100 feet per second or 68 miles per hour. As a result, the sword penetrated a solid concrete column to a depth of about 18 inches. This suggests the 36-inch sword is very heavy. The force resistance of concrete depends on several factors. 
but the bare minimum is about 2,500 pounds per square inch or PSI of resistance. There is no direct conversion of PSI to foot pounds, but assuming the area of interaction between the sword and the concrete column to be one square inch, this would suggest the sword would have to weigh at least 25 pounds. Now the math on this estimate is a bit sketchy, but it is obvious the sword is very heavy and Alita propelled it with extreme power towards Zapan. Next we turn to Alita cleaving off Grawishka's arm with an axe kick. Steel can withstand about 40,000 pounds of force per square inch. Assuming the area of interaction between Grawishka's arm and the back of Alita's foot is two square inches, the force of her axe kick would be 20,000 pounds per square inch. This is enough force to completely drive a two-foot steel spike into reinforced concrete. We must also consider Alita delivered the kick to Grawishka in a body given to her by Ido. Her berserker body is much more powerful. This is apparent when she propelled Zapan about 15 feet through the air with a sidekick where he ended up against a building. Alita's power, especially in her berserker body, is truly superhuman. We should remember the character Alita was in an elite Martian military unit. She is a berserker, the most advanced cyborg weapon ever created. Although her speed, strength, and power are estimates based on assumptions. It is obvious the character Alita would be a formidable opponent for any enemy if the future produces cyborgs like her. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Alita Battle Angel's speed, strength, and power. I am your host, Gary Villeneuve. Thank you for watching, and buy those Blu-rays, baby!